Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to create a simple column chart out of some data. However, I've got all of this data about the median price and units sold for some houses here in Central Oregon. And I've got from 2006, first quarter of 2006, down to the second quarter of 2011. But I don't want to use all of these data, or all of these time periods. I just want to use the fourth quarter from each year. So instead of doing grouping and sorting, which is a good topic for another video, I just want to create a simple chart here. So what I'm going to do is select the data first, and that's the, I think, one of the most important steps before you create most charts, selecting the appropriate data. And you just have to ask yourself, well, what data do I want in the chart? Well, I want time and medium price, the labels. So I'm going to select time and medium price. Then I'm going to hold down my control key. And I'm going to select 2006, fourth quarter. Got my control key still held down. 2007, fourth quarter. Notice I'm getting the time and the median price. 2008, fourth quarter. 2009, fourth quarter. I can scroll down a little bit. 2010, fourth quarter. And I don't have a quarter four for 2011. So I've got my data selected so I can let go of my control key. So basically, I'm using my control key to select non-contiguous ranges of cells. Now that I've got that selected, I simply go to Insert, and I'm going to do a simple column chart here. There we go. So there's my column chart. In this particular chart that I've created, the legend is not really necessary, so I can delete that. And my chart is done. And I can see from 2006 to 2010, certainly, the change in uh, median price for homes. If I wanted to, I could certainly make sure my chart is selected and I can choose any one of the number of default chart styles that Excel provides to uh, spice it up a little bit. So there you go. Select non-contiguous ranges of cells by using the control key in order to make a chart out of just some of your data.